Hello guys, welcome to online web tutor presented by Profotech Solutions team. I am Sanjay. We are learning background just tutorial from scratch and this is our fifth part of this video session series. So if you are a beginner guys from this video session then I strongly recommend you to watch my past videos from part 1 to part 4 where we had discussed about working principle of backbone JS, some introduction part, we have created our first view and many more things we have seen. In this video session we will discuss about the concept of templating engines in backbone JS. When we learn about templates in Backbone JS, then there are several questions which comes to our mind before using this. What are those questions? Questions are, what are the templates in Backbone JS? Why we need templates in Backbone JS? And how we can use templates in Backbone JS? Step by step guys, we will see each and every section in great detail. In Backbone JS, templates are the mark. Templates are the pieces of markups which we use in Backbone JS to create bunch of copies. Means if we want to reuse our code, reuse our markups with instance data which comes from model. In that specific condition we use templates. So basically templates are markups which basically provides the instance of data for uses multiple times in Backbone JS. Why we need templates in Backbone JS? To create multiple copies, reusable codes to markup, we need templates in Backbone JS. And how we can use it? We use we can use templates in Backbone JS by several templating engines. Basically, according to our need, we use several templating engines to our markup. First, underscore templates. Second, handlebars templating engine. According to our need, we need use these type of templates. So, in this video session, we will discuss about underscore templates in Backbone Chase. And in upcoming videos, we will see about handlebars templating engine. So, basically, templates are essentially pieces of markups that we can use it to create a bunch of different reusable copies of that markup. The Backbone Chase templates are the markups which provides access to instance data. It is nice convention to define a template function on your views. Backbone.js use templates to create reusable copies of markups. So basically guys, by the help of these sort nodes, we can understand about the definition or theoretical section of templates in Backbone.js. Now we are going to run our first program while using templates. Just you have to keep in your mind that templates are the markups which basically we use in Backbone JS to make reusable copies of markup. Let's we start to create our first template in Backbone JS. This is our file guys that we have made from our first video session that is message.html and it is under folder of Backbone. To run any program in Backbone JS you need three different types of files first jquery library file second underscore js and finally the third one is backbone.js these three basic files you need to run any backbone js application now we are going to create our view This is the very basic convention guys that you need to follow to create your first view. As we had seen in our first video session as well as in our third or fourth video session. To create a view in backbone we need to extend backbone.view. Under this extend method we, we need to write in slice method. In slice methods act as a constructor for our view. And by default render method runs inside this in slice method. To run the render function, we need to use this dot render here. 
so for now I am writing some console message to run our first view we need to make instance of this Here we have made an instance of first view. Now control us to save just go to browser and press control F5 to run. Here as we can see guys this is the statement that we have written under render method. So basically while creating any object of this by default in slice method automatically called. Otherwise you have to make render method as default calling. Now we are going to use template. To use template in backbone.js you need to use underscore because template functionality guys provided by underscore.js. As we know in the definition section of backbone that it hardly depends upon underscore js and softly dependency on jQuery library file. To use templates we need to use template as a property here we need to pass underscore dot This is the first way guys that we need to create our template. This is the first way. We will see the second way in this video session same. So while using this template we need to call as this dot dollar real dot html this dot template by using underscore dot template method basically it provides a function means here the template becomes function so before using this template that we have defined we need to create this dot template as a function so to output this template to our html page let's we make a dom element we need to pass el property for that Content ID guys, it's a DOM element that we have defined as a div with ID content. Now we are going to output this template into this div. We have done now. EL is a DOM element which basically represents the content. basically represents the d with id content this dollar el is a jquery object which basically points to this dom element while outputting this program we will see that this dot template means this is the html content hello this is first way to create template text will be outputted under this d control s to save just go to browser and refresh your page inspect element as we can see guys under this div id content here is the content that we have written inside the template. This is the first way guys that we can execute our first template into this div. In last video session we have discussed about el and dollar el property. So if you are conf get confused about the concept of el and this dot dollar el then please watch my part 4 of this video session series where we had discussed about the properties of el and this dot dollar el in great detail now we are going to use some different types of templating basically to create a template in backbone.js we need three different types of functions first we have seen how we can use our template now we are going to see the second option to create our template
basically to define a template in the second way you need to create a script tag but you have to keep in your mind the type should be text forward slash template either it will be template or html means either of the two conditions you have to write under this type attribute first text forward slash either template else you have to write text forward slash html if you want to define your template under this script tab you have to pass the type attribute as we have seen so i am writing text forward slash template and this is the id of this template this id should be used when we call this template from backbone view this is the statement that i am cutting from there and pasting it here to call this template inside backbone view we just create the jquery object of that by the help of its selector copy the selector id and paste it here dot html this is the second method guys we are saying about calling of a template from outside of backbone view this is the simple way to call our template by the help of selector and it's an id just save your program go to browser and press ctrl f5 to refresh as we can see this is the same statement as, as we got after running our second template which we have defined outside backbone view you need to keep in mind some points about this first you have to write type should be either text for slash template or html and id is the most compulsory attribute for calling your template inside the backbone view because as you can see we have called by the help of id inside template method of underscore so this is the second method guys we have seen how we can use the templates inside backbone view let us add some statements more here This is the second statement that I have added with this template. Control is to save, refresh this page. As we can see, the statement is here and it's under div. We have added these contents into this div id content by the help of jQuery object this dot dollar real. This is the way to use templates in your backbone view. But this is not the single way to use. If you want to use templates inside render method then you also can do it. How we can do it? Just comment this section. Just go to inside the render function. Here you have to define the template. It's underscore dot template. And here is the selector of your ID of template. Paste it here. And now we need to call this template inside this view just remove this section and it's a method for now just go to your browser and press ctrl f5 to run as we can see output will remain same because we have commented this section from here and we have used template inside the render function so this is the another way to use the templates inside your backbone view According to your need, where you want to use your templates, you can do. And also there is third option for you guys. Just remove the comment section. Remove this template function and paste this selector here. Now copy this template. Inside this template of underscore function, you need to write this dot template. All we have done. Control S to save and just go to browser press Control F to refresh. This is the output as it remains same. So there are various several ways to use templates inside your backbone view. The first way we have seen about making a template
into the same line. Here we have written our content. In the second way, we have seen that how can we define the templates in th into the script tag by the help of type attribute and its ID. These all contains if you want to access by the help of underscore dot template under the selector we have called. So these are the guys methods to, to use backbone templates into backbone. So basically templates are the markups. These are called markups which actually provides the multiple copies for a backbone. For now we have created a single view for this template. Suppose if we have created thousands of view in our application so in that thousands of backbone view we, if we want to use this template then we can call it from there. So basically it provides the reusable copies of markup to our backbone views. This is the plus point or advantage of using templates in backbone view. In backbone JS there are several types of templating engines we will use. According to our need, there are several types of templating engines for markups in the backbone. We have seen one of them like underscore templates. In later video session, we will see about handlebars templating engines. Let's see about handlebars templating engines into a short view. The underscore js templating engines is a fine solution for backbone application. However, when it comes to templating syntaxes, some people prefer other options. Apart from the default underscore templating system, one of the most popular templating engines with backbone JS application is Handlebar Templating Engine. Handlebars uses the popular mustache style syntax which involves the use of double curly brackets to indicate dynamic values. The second paragraph guys we will see in the model section when we discuss about models in backbone view because in model section we will see about the dynamic values without templates and view. Now we have seen about the use of underscore templates in simple way to backbone view. When we learn about the models in backbone then in that condition we will see about the dynamic values of by making instance of that. So in this video session, you need to keep in mind about two or three things. First, to create a template, either you can create inline. This is the inline template creation we have seen. If you want to keep, keep by external templates, then you can define into a script tag. While defining your template into script tag, you have to keep in mind about type attribute. Type should be text forward slash template or either HTML. These are the two options you have to pass into this script tag. Also you need to give the ID of this template. By the help of this ID, we actually call this ID under template method. By the help of this template, we will define our markup to backbone. So this is the simplest way to define a backbone templating engines into simple steps. In later video session, we will see about handlebars templating engines into backbone view. Also, we will see about models in view. So guys, if you have any query about this video session, please do comment in comment box. I will give my reply as soon as possible. So for this video session guys, thank you for watching. Have a great day.